Hi, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be about length. In today's video about length, we're gonna look at converting between meters, centimeters, millimeters, and kilometers. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes knowing when you're converting back between them, whether you're adding zeros, taking them away, how many to add, where to put a decimal place. So, so today we're gonna to go through it, see if we can make it a little bit simpler for you, and see if we can give you an example which you can use if you're having difficulties at home. So let's get into it. Before we start, let's look at length. So the smallest unit of measurement we usually measure with is millimeters. So if you have your, centimeter, your 30 centimeter ruler here, you'll see there's 10 of those millimeters in one centimeter. Okay, so 10 of those millimeters equals one centimeter. And if you take 100 of those centimeters, you get a meter ruler. So 100 of those centimeters equals to one meter. So 100 centimeters equals one meter. And then if you took the meters and you made a thousand of these, a thousand meters equals a kilometer. So you can see then it progressively gets bigger between 10 millimeters equals a centimeter, 100 centimeters equals a meter, and 1,000 meters equals a kilometer. That's gonna help us as we go. So when we're converting back and forth between them, if we're converting between kilometers and meters, because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer, when we're going between kilometers and meters, we times it by 1,000. Because there's three zeros, because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So when we're going further down, we're converting meters into centimeters, because there's 100 of those centimeters in a meter, we times it by 100. And because there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, when we're going from centimeters to millimeters, we times it by 10, okay? As we're going back the other way, obviously that number's gonna be getting smaller because if you're converting millimeters to centimeters, that number's obviously gonna be getting smaller. So when we, how do we make it smaller? Well, we divide by 10. So if we're converting up and down, the first number we're going to divide it by 10, and because there's 100 centimeters in a meter, we're gonna divide by 100 this time. And with meters into kilometers, if we're trying to change meters in kilometers, we divide it by 1,000. So you can see we're going 1,110. It's just whether we're timesing to make that number bigger or dividing to make that number smaller, okay? So let's give it a go. Firstly, 12 centimeters into, millimeter, into millimeters. If I look at my chart for 12 centimeters into millimeters, that number is gonna be getting bigger. And it says here that I'm gonna times it by 10. So up on top of here, I'm gonna write times by 10, okay? So 12 by 10, remember, when you times anything by 10 or 20, you can just take that zero here, that one zero, and put it on the end there, so it becomes 120. If you were timesing that number here, 12 by 100, you could just add both of those zeros and bring them across there, and it'd be one, two, put the zeros on the end, it'd be 1,200. So when we're timesing 12 by 10, we just add that zero to the 12 and it becomes 120 millimeters. Now when we're changing five meters into centimeters, because there's 100 centimeters in the meter, we're gonna times it by 100. Okay, so up here, writing times by 100. And as we just talked about, if you're timesing by 100 and there's those two zeros, you can just add those zeros to the other number, which is the five, so it becomes 500 centimeters. Now this one's a little bit trickier. From 7.3 meters, okay, into millimeters, we've got centimeters into millimeters, we know we're gonna times it by 10. So how do we do seven point, sorry, 7.3 times by 10? Now, if we're making a number bigger with this zero, we can't just put the zero on the end because that wouldn't make sense. So if we're doing my strategy and we just put a zero on the end, that just makes it 7.3, it doesn't change it at all. So to make it bigger, what you're gonna do is see this decimal place? You're gonna move that decimal place because we're going one more zero, we're gonna move it once to that side, okay? And we're gonna put the decimal place there and now it becomes 73, okay? If you were doing this, if you're doing 7.3 meters into centimeters, okay? and it was meters into centimeters. From meters to centimeters, we're times it by 100. So 7.3 times by 100. When we're moving this decimal place, because we're adding two zeros, we're gonna move it twice, okay? So when you have 7.3, you get the decimal place and you move it once and again, and you put the dot there and then you put a zero there. So it becomes 730. Okay, so basically when you're adding zeros, if there's a decimal place, however many zeros you are, you just move that decimal place down and put the new dot there. So that would become 730 centimeters. The decimal place one is a bit trickier, but give it a go. Now we're gonna go the other way to make it 
to making the number smaller. So 140 millimeters into centimeters. So we've got millimeters to centimeters. So from millimeters to centimeters, we can see we're gonna divide that by 10, okay? So with dividing by 10, it's the same sort of thing. If there is a zero here, okay? Sorry, I wrote times, I meant divide. 140 divided by 10, you can just cross both those zeros out and then it becomes 14 divided by one, which we know the answer then is 14, okay? If you've got 1,500 centimeters into meters, centimeters to meters, we know we're gonna divide by 100. And once again, these zeros cancel each other out, okay? So you can cross those zeros out and those zeros out, and the answer becomes 15 meters. But an answer like this is a little bit trickier because you're gonna to have to move the decimal place. Okay, so because from four, what is it, 42,340 meters to kilometers, you're going to divide that by a thousand. So when you're dividing by a thousand, what do you do? Well, just before when I said here, we take the decimal point and we move it this way. If we're dividing, we move it the other way. Okay, so pretend the decimal point is here because it will be at the end because it's the whole number. So how many spaces do you think we're gonna move it? We're gonna move it three places. So we're gonna grab it here and we're gonna go once, twice, three times and put a dot there, okay? Now that answer becomes 42.345 kilometers, okay? So the zeros will tell you how many times to move it. If it has three spaces, you're gonna move it three. Okay, remember when you're dividing, your number should be getting smaller. So if you're going the other way and somehow you're ending up, you're dividing, your number gets bigger, then you must be going the wrong way. Okay, so if you're dividing, you're going to the left, and if you're multiplying, you're moving the decimal place to the, to the right. I hope that has helped. Remember, this chart here, if you go online, even on Google Images, and say converting units of length, that chart that comes up that looks like that is the best thing whilst you're still getting used to it to see if you can use that as a guide, okay? If you have any questions, please comment below and I'm happy to help you out. Thanks.